Hey, what up, guys? It's, it's Ashton and John. We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're we'll reacting to Big Rigs Over the Road Racing Angry Video Gamer Nerd Episode 111. Dude, I 18, love, sorry, love Angry Video Game Nerd. Guys, go and subscribe to Cinemassacre. Um, he makes some great content, so he definitely deserves it. This was a suggestion from Garland. Garland, thank you so much. You guys can also suggest a video. Click the link down in the description. Bam, there it is. It's actually donate ten dollars within two to four days, and we'll react to a video for you. Um, donate two to four. Donate ten dollars in two to four days. We'll react to the video within the two to four days. Obviously, um, keep it in ten minutes. Always include your email. We got backed up at this rate, so we did have to up it to keep up with all like the pretty much requests. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to the video. Follow me on Instagram as well, you guys. There. Are you fucking kidding me? Guys, okay, let's, let's just minimize this and put like a silly face on real quick while we talk. There is a train always going by. I swear to God. There's three train tracks. It's 11, 13 at night. Train's going by. Another 20 minutes, another train will go by. Another five minutes, another train will go by. Another five seconds, train's going by. While that train's going by, another train's going by. How they're not hitting each other just makes no fucking sense to me. They're so close. I mean, there's got to be like a rule, right? Like, don't blow your whistle after like 11, more than like 85 times. Only do it like 83 times because that 85th time wakes people up for work and shit. I don't know. It just pisses you off. Anyway, it sounds like it's a little bit farther away now, so maybe we can get started. And let's go. Dude, I love these. To play the shitty games and suck ass, he'd rather have. And he's so handsome, too. Is that another one? Or a game system. This time we're not gonna go too far back into the past, Damn. only to 2003 with a PC game called Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. I usually stick to consoles and I don't usually do games from the current millennium, but this is a huge request. I've been told countless times that it's one of the worst, if not the worst game really? ever made. I thought I heard but that I'm game. sure that's an exaggeration. It just looks like a generic, mediocre racing game with trucks. And it's from the new millennium, well after the pioneering days of gaming, after the ETs and Jekyll and Hydes, after the advent of quality control. So how bad could it be? Let's see. Let's find out. All right, let me grab the mouse here. Okay, pick the truck. Yeah, that's fine. Pick the course. All right, loading. It's a long loading screen for that. And the race begins. Let's do this. I feel like I'm playing it. That actually it looks like it'd be fun. Game seems this perfect. is awesome! Well, look at this! Look! 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 Look at me! It look! 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 Is. Oh, yeah! I'd rather it be like that than being like those games where you hit every little tiny obstacle and it's super hard to turn and shit. So you're yeah. constantly hitting something and getting knocked over, or not knocked over, but knocked back. Yeah. Yeah, your truck passes through everything. I haven't found one thing that stops you. Not even the hills slow you down. <laughs> this is one hell of a truck. You need it's to get one of those. <laughs> How could you not love a game where there's no rules? I'm not even trying to play the race. I'm just trying to find as many things to drive through as possible. You're a ghost trucker. Are you large, Marge? <laughs> the only thing I can sort of hit is a downed helicopter. Up we go again. 
big rigs over the road racing. I get why it says over the road. Right. <laughs> it's my way or the highway, and the highway ain't got shit. That's kind of cool, though. Oh my god. But it's, yeah. Look at this. You can go almost at a 90 degree slope. In fact, the slopes seem to make you go even faster. Yes, they do. the truck is giving gravity the middle finger and actually <laughs> accelerating up the hill. Dramatically. It's your control. You can slow down to a dead stop and then go backwards as you please. The truck just hangs out wherever it wants. <laughs> what it the clings fuck? to the mountains like Spider Man. Spider truck, spider truck. Does whatever a spider truck does. No. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> That was the best fucking no I've ever heard. No. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I love how this pedometer goes up to 160, too. I need to see that again. Oh, my God. What happens if I turn? I'm under the bridge. And the bridge is levitating. And the ground is going apeshit. And I just realized there's no water. As if the river dried up. Is this glitchy stuff supposed to be the water? It's as if the water is trying to exist, but can't. <laughs> I want to be trying there. To find glitches. It just so happens the whole game is a glitch. Look at this That's picture crazy. here. The hill turned into nothing. The taillights are flying off the truck, and the bridge is hovering over thin air. The support <laughs> beams are so close to touching the ground, but don't. The fuck was that? Oh, by the way, that's the computer opponent who is still at the start line. Never moved. I'm literally running circles around him. You know, I kind of forgot I was in a race here. That is the purpose of the game. It doesn't matter which stage you're playing. The opponent always stalls at the start line and never moves an inch. Wow. You can spend the whole time driving through buildings, over mountains, and under bridges, and still win the race. What kind of challenge is that? The hell Have you is ever that? heard of a video game where you can't lose? How did the programmers forget to make the trucks move? Let's see if I can merge the trucks into one. Here we go. Eh? And now you are your greatest competitor. Yeah, that's some fine work. <laughs> All right, this game is god awful. Wow. This thing went from zero to sixty in reverse in like four seconds. Reverse is faster than forward. What? What? Gentlemen, the truck is <laughs> has left the game. The game is so fucking bad, they programmed a way to escape it. And it's not a secret <laughs> trick or anything like that. All you have to do is keep driving in one direction, and soon enough, you're in limbo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me comprehend one thing at a time here, all right? First of all, why does the truck go faster in reverse than it does going forward? Much faster. It seems like it accelerates infinitely. How many times have I rolled the speedometer over? I must be going a thousand miles per hour right now. <laughs> At least. In reverse. In a big ass truck. <laughs> That's scary. I'm so far away, I can't even find my way back to the game. Follow the moon. I've never been this far outside the boundaries of a video game. How do they let you do that? Even in the shittiest games I've ever played, even they stop you when you reach the gray wall of nothing. Even oh. LJN games don't do this shit. This is bad. This is the most unstable game I have ever played in my life. And would you believe that the copy I own is a more recent version of the game? Yeah, the version that most people have played is commonly found on the internet and is even less functional. In this version, one of the stages doesn't even work. If you try to pick this stage, it crashes the whole game. Not that it's any loss. It looks the same as any other stage. Oh, man. The truck you're racing against doesn't do anything different. It still sits there, waits for you to lap it, and cross the finish line. Here we go. What the hell? Did you even get to the finish line? <laughs> <laughs>
your winner. Oh, no. No. Those kind of pronunciations that. Oh my god. This is so bad and it's so awesome. He's losing it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. No. He's still losing it. Your winner is the kind of stuff that turns horrible games into legend. It's the cherry on top, the diarrhea shake. It's already been a popular internet meme for many years, but in the packaged version of the game that I own, it's been corrected to you win. Disappointing, I know. But there's at least one other version of this game, a newer one, version three as far as my knowledge goes. But anyway, this one has a major advancement. Why would anybody buy it again, you know, like after that? True that, like who wouldn't realize that that game was absolute junk? But you know what, the first one was completely terrible. I didn't like it and I hate the fact I wasted my time on it, but you know, the second one. It was bad and then they come out with a third one. Really big. Check this out. It's like eating some sushi, getting food poisoning, and then you go back there and they say they got the new and better sushi. So you're like, you know what? I'm still gonna try their sushi. It just looks good. It just looks good. Maybe it'll be good. The other truck moves wow no shit it's like we're actually having a race here almost i'm gonna let him win just so we can see what happens i hope it says you're a lose or something like that <laughs> here we go the hell he stops so he can win what the fuck that's the what third? happened how did i win Apparently, the other truck driver just decided to stop a little short. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> In other words, you can't lose. Why'd they bother to release a new version if they didn't even fix the most basic thing? But hey, the truck moves, so maybe this enhancement pushes the game into the pre-alpha stage? At best, these monumental blunders distract from Jesus. all the regular flaws that would already be enough to fill any shitty game. Most of the stages look similar. There's little variety. There are no sound effects other than the engine of the truck. The tail lights are fixated on the back of the trailer doors, and they look like somebody made them in Photoshop with the basic brush. <laughs> yes, it does. You want me to prove it? There you go. <laughs> The street is always breaking up like the glitch gremlin paved over it. Certain light posts are given strange colors that stick out from the rest of the game. The Arc de Triomphe appears twice in a row in a geographically inaccurate area. Trucks are referred to as cars. The ultra nav points you get from crossing <laughs> checkpoints don't always go in order. I mean, what the fuck is ultra nav anyway? The timer goes outside the box. And on top of all that, the box that the game comes in is a complete lie. Never do the police chase after you. Maybe if that was just the front artwork, that would be excusable, but the back says you'll be hauling loads and trying to stay one step ahead of the law. Deliver your load to its destination. What are they talking about? That never happens. Oh, no, no, I stand corrected. This game delivers a load all right. Load of fucking shit! I'll deliver a load all over this fucking game! Yes. It's not even a game. It doesn't count as a game. If it were a game, you could lose. But you can't. It's nothing but win. You're a winner. It's like the game feels sorry for you. <laughs> this is not even close to a finished game. If you can call the game... It's the worst game ever made. Ever. And I've played a lot. What is this? Episode 118? So, that is a big statement, but I'm dead fucking serious. It isn't as frustrating as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. No, no. It's not as bad an experience as that, but in terms of functionality, this is an all-time low. The game is shit. You can't release something that's not finished. Right. Who looked at this? I mean, who looked at this and thought, yeah, that's okay, put that out. Yeah, all right. Credits, which suggest that actual human beings were behind this. More than one. What were they thinking? Why would anyone want their name on this thing? And did any single one of them look at this and think, maybe there's still some work left to do? 
by the year 2003, like wouldn't there have been some kind of quality control? You think Even so? the worst games from the 70s had some playability. I would have assumed that Big Rigs was just some test game, some kind of demo that a college student made. Not an right. actual game that got sold in stores. It, it, it couldn't have been sold in stores. But apparently it did. This is the box. It came in a box. And it was rated by the ESRB. Somebody from the ESRB looked at this game and gave it a rating. I know it's not their job to judge the quality of the game, but somebody looked at it and thought, wow, <laughs> this is shit. But, E, imagine buying this game, thinking it's going to be a cool racing game, then you bring it home and play it, and you get this. It's going 3,000 like miles prank. backwards. Oh, my God. They should have recalled this game and gave out refunds. Imagine advertising this sort of thing. Imagine putting a commercial on TV for this shitload of fuck. I wonder what it would have been like. To sell that to people. Hey kids, strap yourself in for some action-packed racing. It's big rigs. 18 <laughs> wheels of thunder. And we got trucks. Yeah, trucks. Big rigs. <laughs> Off-road traction. More power for non-stop driving action. Big rigs. Over the They're road probably gonna use this as a commercial now. Road, under the road. Who knows? Big rigs. Never lose a race again. You're always winner. With big rigs. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Quantum phasing molecular mechanics to pass through solid objects so as not to interrupt <laughs> the racing experience. Nothing stands in your way when you're big, big rigs. rigs. <laughs> Rear spinning tires with warp drive velocity for interdimensional exploring. Leave the game behind and exceed the boundaries of existence. Big motherfucking rigs. <laughs> Driving around in fucking trucks. <laughs> well, Holy shit. There's one last thing to find out. How fast can you go in reverse? Let's push the limits. It's only going to blow up. Trucks fucking the ground. <laughs> 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 Did anything ever end? That noise. That noise. How high can it go? It's at like okay. seven thousand right now. You all right, man? Or four thousand. speed. Ludicrous speed. We've gone the plaid. At 5,500. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. 5,500 miles an hour. And he could still keep going farther. He just didn't want to. Guys, that is fucking crazy. That has got to be the worst game I have ever seen. But you know what? Big rigs. Are you tired of things like obstacles and gravity affecting you when it comes to driving? Not anymore, you're not. B -b 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 Big rigs. Anyway, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe for him. Send a massacre. Make some great shit to also do it for us as well, and we'll Hi. catch you. Go Can ahead. I talk for a second? You go, baby girl. I was trying to tell you guys earlier, but then John didn't let me finish about my Instagram. You're kind of a dick. Yeah, you are. Um, this is actually my new one. It's the same as before, Ashton Summer Jocelyn, but it has an X at the end. Um, because my other one got taken down, so please follow me on there and help me out, because I don't, obviously, like, I had, like, almost 27,000 er, followers on there before, so help me out to get back to where I was. That sucks. Yeah. Hopefully we get it back. If not, this will be, like, if we do, this will be my secondary, and if we don't, then this will be my main, but for now, please follow it. And peace out, guys. Bye, guys.